Hey there guys, Penguin Recordings here, and today I'm doing a short uh, benchmark video with the latest Metro Last Light Redux version. So there's going to be two parts to this test. Both will have maxed out settings, but the first part of the test we're going to have SSAA on. For Ubuntu that means it's going to be on four times, and for Windows 8.1 that means it's going to just be on. They don't give you any more options than that. And then later on we're going to do it with SSAA off. So in this first part of the video, Ubuntu 14.10 on the left and Windows 8.1 on the right, we are seeing that by default when everything is maxed, Windows is leading by 30 frames per second, uh, 15, that would be 15 lead, while Ubuntu is running at a harsh 15 to 17 frames per second. Now, the driver versions aren't as close as I'd like them to be, but they are as close as I possibly can get. Windows 8.1 is running the 344, is it? I believe the 344 revision, while Ubuntu is running the 343 revision number of the NVIDIA graphics driver. So, with SSA on, either system is not really playable as the lag from super sampling is really heavy on my system. My GTX 680 is two generations old now. We're still seeing Windows 8 able to store at about 30, while Ubuntu 14.10 is between 15 to 20 right now. Although the scene is about to get a lot more hectic. You may notice every once in a while that some of the fog is not the same color. And there's also an anomaly I'm about to show you right now. On Ubuntu 14.10, you're going to notice the character pulls up his gun. Which is kind of strange since the benchmark is supposed to do the exact same thing. So I've noticed a couple of those anomalies. First off is that the gas in the area can be different colors sometimes and then sometimes the units will move differently. But it's as close as we're going to get to a one to one frame by frame uh, representation. So here's where it gets really heavy. We're seeing Ubuntu stay 12, just now dropped down to 9 for a bit. Windows has gone down. Windows is really erratic, it goes 9 and then 20, 9 and 20, really heavy. Both systems are really struggling though. This is not ideal to play on this level of settings, everything maxed. 9 frames per second on window, uh, Ubuntu just now, 15, 14, it's going by really fast. For now it's definitely clear that Windows is leading, not by a lot though not sufficient enough to be playable by my standards. So this is where the scene gets really hectic. Time has uh, started moving normally and there's a whole lot of explosions and effects in the scene. Both Ubuntu and Windows are dropping to about the same frames right now. The only difference is that Windows seems to be able to rebound itself every couple of moments. Go back up high, then go back down, go back up high, then go back down. So that is it for the first test with SSAA on. Let's take a look at the results that we get. You'll notice that on the Ubuntu side, it ends in the scene like this with the results, while on the Windows side, it loads up in a browser. I'm not sure why there's such a difference. Also note that the benchmark actually has a launcher in Windows. So we're going to notice that the average frames per second is 15 on Ubuntu and 23 on Windows. So Windows was leading but only by a few frames per second. So what happens when we turn SSAA off? I had been running a lot of different tests, going through different driver versions, trying to find the latest drivers that won't bug out on each system. And so with SSAA off, I did notice something pretty interesting. So just now, we noticed that Windows 8.1 was leading Ubuntu 14.10 by quite a couple of frames, not more than 10, less than 10, but still enough to be leading the group. And when we turn SSAA off, suddenly take a look at what we're seeing here. We're seeing Windows at 50 to 60 frames per second, but Ubuntu suddenly 70 to 80. Oh my god, it's just gone up to 90. So what's happened here? Suddenly with SSAA out of the picture, Windows isn't in the lead anymore. And this is a DirectX 11 versus OpenGL comparison because you don't have a choice running uh, these on either system. You have to take what's been given to you. So suddenly Ubuntu is leading and not by a little bit but by a lot. This will be even more noticeable when we start going into the heavy explosive scenes in a moment. So 50 frames per second on Ubuntu side while Windows is at 40. 
it's pretty surprising. I, I expect Windows to be able to go faster than just now after we take SSAA off, but it would seem that it's more of a poor implementation of SSAA in the OpenGL side rather than the DirectX 11 side. It's possible that in future revisions, Metro Last Light Redux may even work better on Ubuntu overall with everything maxed. So we're still looking at a good 60 to 70 frames per second versus Windows rather poor 30 frames per second, 40 frames per second. What does this mean? If I was going to play the game and the only thing I'd turn off is SSAA, my choice would have to be Ubuntu here because I wouldn't be wanting to lose these frames when I'm playing the game seriously. With everything maxed, of course, I wouldn't be able to play the game seriously at all on either system because below 30 frames per second is abysmal. So what we're seeing here is 70 against 50, 50 against 20, 40 against 20. Ubuntu is holding up a lot better now and I'm, I'm really surprised by this. I think that Windows and Ubuntu would be sharing blows right now. Ubuntu is in the lead by a lot. That's a good 20 to 30 frames per second lead there. Windows is dropping down 13, 15. Basically, Windows is holding the same frames per second it had just now with SSAA on, but Ubuntu suddenly without SSAA isn't boggled down by anything anymore. This is pretty amazing. I'm there we go, 80 frames per second versus 16 on Windows. 125, I think it went up to 200 for a moment there. That's 100 frames per second, almost solid for just now against 20 50 frames per second against 19 50 against 20 it is pretty clear who the winner here is once you turn SS SSAA off this is insane 70 against 20 oh my lord that was amazing so with SSAA on it's pretty clear that Windows leads but only by a bit neither system is perfect for it but once you turn SSA, uh, SSA off, suddenly Ubuntu is in the lead by a lot. That is an average difference of 27 frames per second with Ubuntu leading by that much on average. So the conclusion is if you're gonna play this game, play it on Ubuntu. That That is probably the coolest conclusion I can come to in any of my recent benchmark videos. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and you're welcome to stop the video and do your own criticism, uh, take what you can from it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video guys and thanks for watching.